It is so dark out. God, the moon is still out. Henry actually realized late last night that he got his dates mixed up. You can just imagine how delighted I was with the news that he wanted us to leave at 5 a.m. and drive four and a half hours to Germany in his car with no roof. I think there's people still out. <laughs> That's because this is an ungodly hour. There's people partying away. Mm. Do you drink? I didn't wear a belt, so I'll, I'll be like coming in the car. Down to let my trousers fall down. I have to say, packing the car at 5 a.m. is always such a fun and truly epic way to start my day, said no one. Ever. My goal for the day anyway was to survive through the wind, the rain, which was definitely going to come, and the seven degree forecast. Henry's goal was to finally fulfill a lifelong dream or something like that. Oh, here we are, nearly ready to go, but we have one final check from Henry because I probably did something wrong. All right, let's go. Cue leaving montage. <laughs> for an absolute treat of a drive according to Google Maps. It's only going to take us four and a half hours, which actually means five and a half hours in the cage room, depending on how many stops we do and if it rains or not. I am going to let you in on a little secret though. It rains. So it's time for a little break. I know what you're thinking. Why on earth does it take them so long? Well, here's the thing. We both can't leave the car at the same time. Why? Well, because we can't lock the car. Oh, Henry's gonna kill me. Improving the further east we go. That's what I thought. It's getting bloody colder. Oh my god, I'm freezing. <laughs> Is this I've, the coldest you've been in this car? I've got, I've got two pants on, two pairs of socks. You've got two pants on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I've been leggings and my jeans on. I've got two t-shirts. I've got two jumpers. I've got a jacket, my hat, my gloves. I need a new pair of gloves all there, of course. How many layers do you have? Uh, two t-shirts and a jacket. Wait, you don't even have a jumper on? No, because <laughs> I gave my jumper to you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll keep it here. You've only one jumper? Yeah. That was silly. Why did it going to be this cold? Did you not look up the weather? Yeah, kind of. So, let me talk you through the process. So here we have me now looking like I'm having the time of my life sitting in the rain. And here's Henry taking the roof off the boot cover. And now it's for the big reveal of the roof. Wow. Okay, here we go. 
time to get that bad boy on top of the car. Need to your door. Uh, um, okay, not done yet. We have to go inside where he has to tighten up the straps on the hoop rails to make sure the rope is nice and tight. This process is also known as squishing the life out of Tina. As you can see, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, stop drawing the interior. He's cooking to work now. Yeah, you can close the door. Oh, and he's going for a pee. Okay. Show me that. We are now tucking the doors inside the roof so the water doesn't run inside. I'll let you in on a little secret. It runs inside no matter what you do. Oh no, that's covered in grease. I put it on top of that. I didn't. You did. You just did that. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, opened the, I opened the door and it was hanging on that. No, it was up there. And then you hit that off it. Oh, you Wally. That's definitely your fault. Okay, now I'm going to get in with the roof on. It's a good thing I'm young and fit. An hour and a half to go. An hour and a half. And the gauge from GT. Roof on. Yay. At least it's not as cold with the roof on. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. I love driving this car in the rain. Steering wheel. And we are done. What a practical little car to have in all weather. Would highly recommend. Henry finally made it to the de-restricted autobahn where he was hitting speeds of up to 185 kilometers an hour. So obviously this was a perfect time for me to take a nap. And here we have it lads, we're in Germany. End goal today was to get to the Nürburgring, which is like basically a playground for adults with cars. I think that's it. I'm sure you can tell that I'm going to be having an absolute ball of a time here at Norberg. We're going to be here for like two days or something. So I have that to look forward to. All right. See you next time. Have a good one. Oh yeah. And like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.